Action. Hello, people there. How are you doing? Good morning. Como esta? Saan yung lahat? Hi. Okay na kami. Okay na naman. So we're, we're, let's start out this program by me asking you, where are you located? Where are you at right now? I'm here in the office of Calapa, Manila. And we're staying here. Well, it's, it's really interesting. Sometimes we say say words that uh, have deeper meaning, and I appreciate you saying that. So we're going to delve into Tagalog. exactly what you said there, because this program, what is it about? What is this program about? We're going to do a, we're going to upload this and share this with the world, and this is about... Kalapa TV. Kalapa. TV. Kalapa. Yeah, said it to me. By the way, by the way, uh... I don't want him to say anything here so they will hear his voice, but what do you think of uh, the cameraman there? Is he pretty nice? Sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, you're full of smiles this morning. I really appreciate. And I want to say thank you to YouTube right here. I want to say thank you to YouTube for making this all possible, that we can share information around the world. I really, really appreciate YouTube. So, as you can see, I've got a TV here, which will be, I do not have the wire with me right now. This is, should be uh, kind of concealed, but I need an HDMI wire, which will display here videos that I can share with you. And we can discuss a lot of subjects. Now, you said you're at the office of Kalapa in Manila. Yes. So, we're talking about, we're talking about what Kalapa is. And this is important because, um, you know, we don't want to infringe upon laws and uh, to mislead people. We want to be clear as to what Kalapa is. And if you're at an office of Kalapa in Manila, um, let's clarify that. Yeah. Okay. So about 15, 16 years ago, I met the family that owned the house that you're in right now. They have become my family. And we're not going to mention their name, but they're Chinese and they're very special. And uh, it's very, uh, it's a very emotional time right now for me because their mother, we have just gotten word that she has passed away. She's been a mother to me for all these years, in her 80s. Yeah. And uh, we're, you know, we need to get condolences to the family and to be there to love and to support them. So our hearts go out to the family there. Uh, and so you're at their house, and you don't need to mention their name. Uh, I set up a little studio there. Uh, basically, I wanted to do some YouTube uh, recording of subjects and conversations. What I'm trying to do, my effort in the Philippines uh, was, of course, I had my wife is Filipina, as you know. And so I'm there for family reasons. I'm there for uh, just general tourism and uh, the beauty of the Philippines is amazing. So, you know, vacationing, you call it. Um, I'm there to enjoy the, the people and the place, and I've certainly done that, and to capture some of that and share it with my own family back home. The Kalapa House. So so let me clarify. You're not actually in the office of the Kalapa House. You're at a uh, family where uh, they live there, and I've known them for many, many years, and... Uh, what you're sitting on is a sofa at their house, and I have directed a lot of signs behind you when I was there. And the yeah. purpose of that is for branding purposes. Okay, that's that means that whenever, like for example, if I get uh, a million views, which I have received, or we have, I think uh, I've noticed three and a half million views in a month. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get money for those fields, you know. It's really interesting, and I'm getting off the subject a bit, but I'm new at this, so, you know, it's a learning process. The learning curve for all of us, we're going to have to kind of gradually capture, uh, you know, how to actually do this. But I have an interest and a desire in teaching and helping not only Filipinos, but all people in the world, but since... You're in the Philippines, and you are a Filipina, right? Yes. Sure. And you're a mother and daughter there. I have an, I have an interest.
interest in helping Filipinos. And, you know, there's this saying, you give a Filipino a, you know, a fish and they eat for a meal, but you teach them how to fish and they can eat for years. And so I want to teach you and Filipinas all over the Philippines how to utilize the natural, God-given resources that you have, especially when it comes to natural healing or to healing your body and to staying healthy and wealthy. We have the, we call it the 3-H club, uh, mm-hmm. or the, was it the 4-H club, okay? Yeah, for happy, healthy, and holy for heaven, those four H's. Instead of the four S, which is sad, sick, and sinful, the Satan, you don't want to go that club, right? So, for Lapa House, now I feel like I'm just talking to you, and I want to interact a little bit, and I want to get some comments from you, of course, but... The Kalapa House actually was a homeless shelter that my son and I together started, and uh, quite a few other family and friends came in. And this was uh, on the island of Molokai, Hawaii, where I had grown up and where my grandson was born. It has been a home to our family for since 1974, and uh, because of it being a warm place and it's in the United States, uh, it just seems that people end up there and it's kind of like the end of the road for them. They they like it. They end up staying there but they're homeless. And I wanted to minister to these people there that were homeless and needy but also to the local community of that island. And so we were able to acquire a house there back in 2006 and uh, it became known. It was on Palapa Street. And so I had left uh, my son there for about a couple a month. I went to California because that's where we were living. And I came back. He was only 12 years old. And I had, of course, another man, Paul, who was there to uh, kind of oversee Brendan. And I was, uh, we were enrolling him in a local school, doing some homeschooling as well. And uh, when I got back, I was talking to someone at a little store. I had not actually gone back to the Kalapa House, but it didn't have a name. And uh, they were telling me about the Kalapa House of Charity. And I said, wow, that's a nice place. Uh, Where is that at? Oh, that's the place over there. There's a boy named Brendan Jenkins. And they started telling me about it. So actually the place coined its own name. It, It developed on its own. And all I did was I, we were able to purchase, actually buy, and I say we because I'm talking about my uh, partner, James, my cousin, Nathan, and this home was purchased for the uh, island and for the indigent and the needy, and it had seven small bedrooms, and it really was an amazing experience to start that place see what God would do. We started, we passed out uh, 2,000 postcards to the island offering free food and free housing. And so it's interesting how as we didn't have food and money to give them, but to see how God would supply us 